This video is for the Moodle 2 point or the 200 course from Moodle Rooms. This video shows how I am going to select an authentication method and my reasons behind it for my test site. This is a Moodle 2.0 server so I'm going to go to Site Administration, I'm going to go to um, Plugins, and I'm going to go to Authentication. I'm going to click on Manual Manage Authentication and I'm going to get my list of authentication services. Manual accounts is enabled by default. Um, I do want to give the reason, I want to make sure that I do have the possibility of forcing a user to a no login and barring a user from the site. I'm going to use web-based authentication as well. That's why the eyeball is open. Okay and there's no settings even though I did go ahead and check because we always want to check settings. I'm also going to allow email based self-registration. This prevents, this might open me up to not having to do a lot of registration and authentication work. And again I'm going to click the email settings. I am going to um, enable the CAPTCHA element that allows me to do some additional um, checking to make sure it's not a spam bot or spam or robot that's trying to access the system. I'm going to save my changes at this point. Now I'm going to also scroll down a little bit. I'm going to come down to my common settings and I'm going to say that I'm going to enable self-registration. I'm do not want guest logins. I'm choosing not to do that on my site because I don't want to, I want to know who's on the system. We don't have any alternative login and different forgotten password URLs. That's all handled within Moodle in my case. Um, I'm going to not allow or disallow any additional emails, but I am going to disallow any emails from hotmail.com. I do not want Hotmail email addresses on the system because they have the habit of being very heavy on um, spamming and stuff like that. I will have to go out and get my CAPTCHA public key and private key. I can do that at a later time by visiting CAPTCHA.net. And at this point I'm going to click on Save My Changes. Now because I enabled my um, because I enabled the web self-registration. I'm going to come down, I'm also going to click on web services authentication. Okay, and there are no additional settings at this time. So that is how I enabled self-registration, email-based registration, and manual registration as well as no login. Now my preference in order is manual login then I want to click my up arrow to move email based registration up over web service authentication. So what we've done, we've enabled an authentication method on Moodle 2.0 using the site administration, plugins, and authentication area.